Christians need healing in the New Jerusalem. Why, why, why would they need healing? One of God's promises concerning the eternal state, the eternal state, is that the nations of the world will have healing. The question comes up, though, as to why exactly healing is needed. Is in the New Jerusalem a place of perfection already? You see, the promise of the healing of the nations is found in Revelation 22. Okay, let me show you this. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as the crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded our fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Let's continue a little bit. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Now, when you, when you look at this, the tree of life, we may ask, why? Why will God be giving us a tree of life and, and what will be his purpose? I believe that the tree, the healing of the nations is linked to the tree of life because uh, God will be reestablishing Eden, the Garden of Eden once again. Okay, you remember? He'll be reestablishing it back again. And uh, <clears throat> it is the tree, <clears throat> it is the leaves of this tree that are said to be for the healing of the nations. The leaves of this tree. Remember? Revelation 22 verse 2, the leaves of this tree are for the healing of the nations, okay? So it is possible that the tree of life in the New Jerusalem is literal and that uh, it leaves, uh, its leaves and various fruits will, will somehow enrich, okay? Will somehow enrich our existence in, in the eternal state. All the nations represented there will be healed of their divisions and strives in their equal uh, access to the tree of life. Okay? So you have to understand this. Okay? It is also possible that the tree of life in the New Jerusalem is symbolic. That its healing signifies the eternal life that all will enjoy there. The different fruits that it bears could represent the unlimited variety of our existence in heaven. The clear flowing river that waters the tree could picture the spiritual life of, God's of, of the gods redeemed. That is the living water that Jesus promised. You remember what is promised in John 4.13? Let me show you John 4 verse 13. You remember Jesus promised this, the living waters? And answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing unto everlasting life. So, this tree, okay, where is that tree? Yes, this tree is a picture of Christ. And Christ is feeding us. Remember, he said, whosoever will eat my body, whosoever will drink my blood. Why is he talking about these kind of things? Because Jesus is that tree. And it will be flowing with the... Uh, 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 with the uh, living water. So the healing of the tree of life's, uh, the, the healing of the tree of, of life's leaves provide, uh, <clears throat> they, they provide the healing of the, of the, of the nations. But this is not like, um, we may not say it's like the, the healing of uh, battles and the wounds of battle. No, no, not those kind of things. Not warfare and things like that. No, we are now in the new heaven and new earth. 
Okay? So the healing is not needed for combating sicknesses because there will be no more sicknesses, death or pain. Remember what the Bible tells us, that there will be no sicknesses, uh, death, pain, and uh, things like that. So it's, it's not after those kind of <clears throat> kinda issues. I want to show you. Revelation 21 verse 4 And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away So you see this is not about pain and things like that It's not about that It's all about bringing people together and making people that they will never strife again They will never have any issues again between themselves Okay no more warfare, no more strife, no more conflicting things. God will heal all that ails his creation. Let, let, let me just show you Revelation 22 verse 3. Let me show you the reason why that tree will need to be there. Revelation 22 verse 3. See the need of that tree. And there shall be no more curse. That tree will heal every curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him, and they, are, they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, they'll need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. So, when you look at this tree, it will be for the servants of God who will be there serving him. Okay? In this new heaven and new earth, the, he, the, the servants of God, the people who are called the new Jerusalem, they will be there. And they will, they will have no more trouble. Everything that has always ailed man, you know, wars and the thinking of uh, uh, fighting with your brother, all those kind of things, all those and animosities will be healed. You will not be able to think of your brother as an enemy. And in the eternal state, Everything will be blessed, okay? Everything will be blessed in this eternal state. And the tree of life represents that blessedness, bl blessedness, okay? This tree of life, it will represent that kind of blessedness, okay? There will be perfect, sinless, perfect government, perfect service to God, perfect communion, perfect glory. It is impossible for us to imagine being totally separated from sin and living in a glorified state before God. But the Lord assures us that these words are trustworthy and they are true. He told us these things are true and they are trustworthy. You can trust them. Okay? He said these sayings are faithful and true and the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly be done. So these things which he says, they are faithful and they are true. It will be very true that that tree of life will be there. And it will heal all animosities, all the hatreds, all the bad thoughts about ourselves and about God and about thinking of our brothers in a negative way. They will heal the nations of all those kind of things. And we live in perfect way how God designed us to be. So I think you've been able to understand why the nations will need healing in the new Jerusalem. Because those, that will bring us together and we'll be always doing what is right and not thinking about others in a negative way. Okay? Because God has set everything perfect. He has set everything perfect. And if Adam and Eve could have lived the same way, they could have never had any animosity. They could have never had any issues. They could have lived perfectly as God created them to be. So are you looking for that new heaven and new earth? If you're looking for it, thank God. If you're, if you're still mixed up and you're wondering, hey, what's wrong? You should ask yourself, do you believe the gospel? Because unless you believe the gospel, you cannot get to that heaven and a new earth. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's all understanding why and how Jesus died. Why did Jesus die? 
he died for our sins. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again, uh, again on the third day, as the scripture writes. And uh, we can see that he died for our sins. He didn't die for no reason. And how did he die? By shedding his blood. Why? Because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. So why does the blood have to be shed for someone to be forgiven? Because Leviticus 17.11 says, the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given you the blood upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. So the only way you can atone is by taking out the blood because the life is in the blood. So why do we have to, to atone for our souls? What happened? Because we sinned and we, we deserve dying. Because the Bible says in Romans that the wages of sin is death. And no man is sinless. We are sinners, all of us. But 2,000 years ago, one man called Jesus, while he was still sinners, he died for us. That whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Once you understand this fact, my friends, and then you confess to Christ and you tell him what you have understood through a prayer, you tell him that Christ, now I have understood that you died for my sins and you are buried and rose again. As the scripture says, you confirm to him and you receive by faith that atonement, then my, my friends, you're saved. And you'll be there and you'll be a partaker of the blessings of God and of the tree of life. Okay? Hope this has been a blessing to you and uh, you've been able to be encouraged. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And also you can uh, share the video for others to be able to see and hear. And also you can subscribe to watch more videos which we post every day. God bless you and have a good time.